What's up everyone? Uh, I hope you guys are well. So today is a very exciting day. You know what I am unboxing the ultimate strap. You know like this is unbelievable that I got this guitar. Anyway, I got it so that's awesome. Take out and I wanted to share this journey with you guys. Just to you know show you how it is. The whole experience of unboxing because unboxing is a new thing now which is cool so yeah table right? as well let's unbox this ultimate my favorite strat so far and owning a few strat before american standards and all of those i think jump gurnal custom shop mat to jump up it's a pretty big deal for me because you know i'm i started playing bass and then now i'm more into guitars guitar sounds especially and then guitars as well which is cool I and mean, that's why you know it's, it's quite tough being a guitar player and you know as a musician the whole thing so that uh, you know that's what we do we explore the sound and basically look for that sound i would say so that's cool so yeah let's do this awesome unboxing video i hope you will guys will enjoy it and then you know don't think that i'm just showing off and stuff i'm just sharing this um experience with you on your alka maybe you'll get some ideas you know with the custom shop and all that thing that you know it's, it's a lot to buy a custom shop it's not a cheap guitar of course for the people but someone who has money i'm pretty sure you can afford it and then it's like nothing but you know everyone can't afford the guitars and you know somebody who work hard for it and then get the guitars it's worth it it's definitely worth it i think or let's see if it's worth it or not so we're going to find out now and see how it goes basically so there you are let's unbox this awesome strat and see so i got this guitar from anderton's i went there a few weeks back and then i went to the custom shop areas the guys helped me out i knew i met so weirdly so bizarre i met the guy from nepal again so who used to work in tune music store i think it's gonna be rojibo I almost forgot his name and then Tian got the store my god I spoke with him and said bro I know you from somewhere you're from Nepal right and then he was like yes yeah Rojib how are you man we had conversation and all of that and you know need happen to your muscle to bella so I couldn't really do a lot of talking and bits that I was in the store for a few hours and he, we talked with him he's such a nice guy he helped me out with the stuff on him I went up there, tried few guitars. So with the guitar options, I had a Kiki guitar right here that I needed to buy. The um, PRS Makati, PRS Custom 22, on your Fender Custom Shop here. And there was another Gibson Custom Shop, which was a bit, so I think it was Custom Shop Junior, 58, Custom Shop Damiso, you know, I was more into this guitar because of the colors and, you know, obviously a Fender because it's really good to have guitar collections for recording. If you, especially you're recording different sounds, you know, guitar, gonna you need different sort of sounds. So I think owning a Strat, Les Paul, and maybe like Alka Arco Humbuck, modern humbucker sounds are a when it's, you know, you get like, all sort of sounds from your guitar for recording so that's why i was looking for the ultimate strat to get that chimey stratty tone as you guys all know so th that's why you know i was like you know let's buy a strat rather than any other guitar first and they were let's unbox the video enough talking and hope hope you guys will enjoy the guitar is out here it's a bit messy so don't feel a bit weird I especially set this up for you guys. My studio is in the other place. So this is our new apartment that we recently moved. So we have a studio with property. So I will give you a tour of my studio soon if you guys want to see that or, you know, let's have fun. So it's been messy. Let's have a look around. Thanks. So the guitar is up there. Well, yeah, I bought it. I put it up there because it's easier for me to show you guys rather than on the floor. So probably lights and stuff, as you guys know. So I've got my pedal board down there. I will show you what I've got in there. So I'll be recording with that Fender Sidekick 
15 reverb. I'll tell you about that. And then, yeah, all the focus tries and bits. So let's jump to the guitar. So guitar is in this case. The Osti Bakar Moy list or Rumal that he did kind of like popped out. Got scratched. So it's fine. It doesn't matter. The older it looks, the vintage it gets. Uh, cool. So, yeah, comes with brown case, of course. I need to kick it out here as well. So it says Fender in the case, brown Tolex case. So, yeah, let's go and have a look. This is so weird. This is how it looks. Strat, Stratocaster and stuff. So, your guitar is a 1960 Strat in Fiesta Red. NOS finish, so no relicking, of course. Some people like buying relic guitars, some people don't. don't. I have nothing against them. Relic guitar is cool. Your guitar doesn't have any relics, which is even cool. So literally, this is like buying a guitar in 1960. All spec is like that. It's pretty cool. So headstock, since Fender Custom Shop. No scratches, anything. This is literally a mint guitar. Let's have a look what it comes in the case. So it came with this. Fender Costume Shop, cool. White, of course, a tremolo, which is cool. And it comes with Kiki Sonalda right here. So, a Costume Shop certificate, 1960 Stratocaster, NOS. So, your Fender Costume Shop, when they make that series, it just made one of the it's not like mass produced guitar so you expect why is it all year man exactly they make it this way so there is not another guitar like this that exists on that year okay or maybe like the whole few years i don't know i haven't seen any other guitars like this so of course certificate you don't want you want to keep that safe comes with fender custom shop Stickers that is cool. I mean, our cookies have owner's manual, so it will give you all that. This is such a cool feeling when you own the guitars. So, they're in the USA spring, tremolo spring. If you want to make it tighter or loose, they have like these springs with extra. Honey, I so custom shop, custom camera. Okay, so I'm all ready. Like I said, I'm gonna lie. So I will quickly show you made a uh, quick pedal board. So your pedal board, so this is for me to actually use a garma. You know, this is like my hobby. Like garma was here, you know, just to jam with it. Recording or the I haven't used any of the, uh, it's the live rig, but, um, you know, maybe probably in the future, I'll probably use them like, you know, natural analog sound, which is going to be really nice. It depends on like, I think analog or digital magic, it depends on what sort of project you're playing. If you're playing blues and stuff, I would definitely re record these analog and you know? miking or organic and it's going to sound awesome if you know how to make it awesome through recording. And you know? it depends on if you can record it or not. That's a fact, of course. But if you know how to re record good, you can obviously get awesome sound and it's just gonna sound really good. So yeah, this is Yoche Miro simple pedal board that I just play, explore sounds and stuff. I love collecting pedals, alka alka, not a lot. But, um, I've collect these pedals so far. I've got one more pedal as well. I haven't set it up here. So yeah, I've got tuner. Of course, your board is a little bit messy. But the OCD, I was like, you know what? I 
यो बोर्ड मैले पाँच पल्ट खोलेर हालेर इन आई एस टू जस्ट घरी निकालने घरी हालने घरी के करने भर अभी आई वॉज आई लेफ्ट ओल दिज पावर सप्लाई बाहर क्या यू कैन यू हेव अप्सन टू पुर इट फ्रम दी इन साइड तर हू केयर्स मैम ओवर ओसिडी भाको दुख आई जस्ट लेफ्ट इट एज इट इज बिकज डज मैटर सो सो ट्यूनर अफकोर्स अभी मेन थिंग फर्स्ट इन ट्यूनर ते पड़ी इट गोज टू नोइज गै साइलेंस को आफ्टर दैट गोज टू प्रोक्टेविया रेली कोल पेरो हल्का यो पेरल से मैं आई थिंक आई यूज इट ऑन भूल सक मो सोलो में सो दैट्स इट हेज आई रेली दैट ओल्ड स्कूल साउंड लाइक यू डोट रेली गेट द विंटेज प्रोक्टेविया हल्का जिमी हेन्ड्रिक्स यूज करने पेरल सोर अफ लाइक इसे खाली क्या यहाँ से टू गेट दैट फजी ऑक्टिव साउंड इफ यू गाइज डोट नो अबाउट दिस पेरल रेली कोल पेरो बाय द वे वी विल हियर दैट soon and of course ds2 distortion so it has two features you would have a ds1 and i think ds1 ko sound so you get both pedal and ds2 and ds2 is a little bit more mids and stuff of course the classic distortion 3 so i used to play i used to hear a lot of people play your red pedal so sunil levni bada thi pedal when we used to play in plan b So it has really nice throaty sort of sound. Oily, oily. Yeah, I'm more into guitar, so I know, you know, more sounds and stuff than before. And then Holy Grail reverb. This is sick. You see, my lady, I got this pedal after a while. I really wanted your Holy Grail, so I got that one. My favorite Uber Shell uh, distortion pedal. This is really organic, like amplified. It doesn't have. A lot of gain, as you know, Bogner amps has. That are it's it's sort of like in you know, a crunch, distortion section that are not like full on heavy metal sound. I don't know why Booster regard the heavy, but it doesn't really brings out like that super to amp head or whatever. I was in this to have a very saturated sound, so I know that it's still nice. I was expecting more out of that pedal. That are it's sort of like more organic, which is cool. I know it's I think it's different. अब फुल अन सैचुरेटेड साउंड को लाइक मे बी यू कैन बाय इविएच को यू नो लाइक डिस्टोर्सन फ्रम एमेक्सा आर नो तो कस सो सीम्पल मार्शल को मोडुलेसन पेरो सो इट हेज तीन चार वा मोडर से फ्लेंजर से फ्लांजर कोरस अटेपेजर वाइब्रे अटी सीम्पल एनिवेक्स को डिले आर आ लव डिले डिले पेरल अति दामी लगे इसमें आई यूज मोस्टली द टेप डिले तर इसमें इट हेज पिंग पंग लड अफ डिज विच इज सो खो बट यू नो फर मी टेप डिले इज द बेस्ट अफकोर्स दैट साउंड द क्लासिक अभी ट्यूब स्क्रीमर अफकोर्स दिस इज अ स्मल वन विच इज सो नाइस एंड हेन्दी सो या मैम दैट्स माइ सीम्पल होम रेग ये घर में बजाने हो मे बी इफ आई गो आउट एंड प्ले in a future with band I'll probably take this in a pubs and stuff and play so with an amp so goes with so mic in with SM57 kati pichari mic in garna ja demo garna thik so that is really cool on you am say fender ko side kick 15 reverb so this is a very old amp 1990 ma ponne ko raisa sort of like dui barsa agadi when i was born so that is really cool So lovely, yeah. So let's hear some uh, dry tone. I'll get pedal or whatever to release that out. Let's see how it goes. So guitar with reverb sounds really nice. <laughs>
Sylvia. So that's sort of the sound we get from Octavia. All kind of fuzzy. Let's try DS2. Maybe favorite for me.
that is such a nice sound. Let's try fuzz. This is made an iPad pedal low fuzz, which sounds awesome, I think. Let's add some delay with my favorite That's it. There's nothing else that I can say to justify these instruments because you just have to try it yourself in the end. So I really hope this will give you a bit of an idea of so how it sounds and stuff. It's a really nice guitar for sure. I'll spend more time with it, see how it goes, and um, yeah, hopefully it will make me a better guitar player. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this content. And yeah, that'll be really helpful. And yeah, hope you enjoyed my new song as well, Quality, which is out now in my YouTube channel. Please check that out as well. And yeah, I will see you on the next one then.